back at you with another video from 80s Nut. Today I have the DZ555. Yes, the DZ555. Bam. There it is right there. That's it right there. Well, obviously it's a case. I know. I know what you're saying. That's not it. That's just some kind of case. Well, it's inside the case. You have to look inside the case. All right, so start with the case. It's a really nice heavy duty case. I don't think this is leather. In fact, I'm sure it's not leather, but at least in this, with this unit, they went, they went out even on the case and put this cool leather texture. So it looks like leather. And this thing is in really nice pristine condition the case and the unit actually it's it's new it's nice it's a uh, new old stock let me open it up they went ahead and have a cut out there for the screen uh, oh, sorry that's the unit there nice velvet interior there is your cutouts on the back for your jacks there for your audio out and your uh, your power adapter went ahead and taken the unit out slowly, slowly bring it down slowly okay there you go this is an extremely good looking unit um, excuse the mess in the background there I made another video earlier with uh, actually a couple of videos earlier, one of them being the anniversary, the 10th anniversary Walkman. Not really happy with that video, so I might actually end up deleting it. Now, as I said before, I haven't made videos in such a long time, so I'm extremely rusty. Okay, so we have. Oh, if you guys hear any snoring, that's my. Uh, my son, he wanted to stay with me and he said, I'm probably going to fall asleep. I said, go ahead. Alright, so this unit, extremely difficult to find. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is because of its price point when it was originally released. Uh, it was not for your faint of heart. Uh, you weren't going to spend your week's pay to get a disc man that was kind of what what their average going rate for the these higher end units um, they average anywhere between and this is on the if it's on sale they average anywhere between three hundred dollars uh, up to seven hundred dollars depending on the bells and whistles so the features um, all the attributions that they have to offer Okay, so, this unit here, yes, you'll notice immediately that it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a full, full metal jacket, extremely heavy unit. If you're wondering what that is on the bottom, that orange spot right there, um, that's the terminal for the battery adapter battery pack that attaches to the bottom normally takes a there you go there. there's a battery pack that fits on the bottom there goes right there Nice, huh? Yeah, I can't get enough of this unit. That's, I really, really like this unit. Um, they did offer the digital out. Let me take the plug out. Okay, so it's right there on the side. And that comes off. And, uh, it's right there.
headphone jack right there. This one has the eight times over sampling, right? Does. Um, and of course the dual DA converters. Somewhere around here, I have the remote for it. It's big, it's bulky, and I love it. It does have your built-in equalizer. You know, I think the biggest thing why so many collectors like this unit, not just because it's extremely rare and it's hard to find and no, it's actually a really, really good looking unit and you just you feel the quality in this unit. Just you know it's made really well. So, I don't just shut it. I'm very strange that way with my units. I'll actually press on the open button and then shut it. That way it doesn't cause too much tension on that tab and break the tab. Um, even though I don't really use them that much. I probably, I probably never turn this unit on. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding you guys. I probably never turn this unit on. Yes, as I said, now you can really hear my son snoring. That jack right there, that's your audio out. And that would be just a regular male jack that would go there when you'd have a Y on it and you'd have two RCAs, you know, your red and white RCAs. You'd be surprised on how, how good this sounds. Um, so... My, I honestly believe that this sounds so much better than the uh, compressed MP3 crap that, that's out there. I put this up against any of the iPhones or any of the small MP3 uh, memory units, um, even the, the digital memory units. Just the, doesn't sound the same. I let them, let them hear one of the, what's this one? It's the D303 is what I put up against it against their uh, their Apple iP iPhone and uh, <laughs> everyone agreed that it sounded so much better that's that's what this unit is which also has your optical up there anyway um, said I was gonna make a real quick video and uh, that's pretty much it in a nutshell um, I don't know if you guys wanted me to go through every single button by now. You know that I already did that with close to a hundred videos. Um, and I probably won't go through all the, all the buttons. Just kind of show it and you guys will be able to tell what each button does and what each feature is. If you have a question, let me know. Um, on that, I am going to sleep because it is about one forty-five in the morning and I got work tomorrow and I gotta be up at 6 so I've only got a few hours to go to sleep I promise I will make more videos as I have uh, as I said in the earlier video um, I found a tote in my collection full of units that I honestly did not know I had I thought I sold but I guess I didn't. Um, so, as I said before, when you start finding units that you did not know you have in your collection, your collection's getting just a little too big. I like it. All right, you guys have yourself a good night. I'm going to sleep, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>